Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a combination CCNP switch and T-shoot video pop quiz for you. I'm going to bring the switch screen up here in just about one, about 15 seconds actually. We're not going to wait a minute. And I'm going to have two questions for you on this. You're going to need to give me the answer to both of them just from the information you see on the screen. And also it's a little larger and the screen looks a little different than usual. So just stand back from the monitor. Management is not responsible for injuries. Now let's pop it up here. And what I'm interested in, of course, is the only information on the screen there at the top. Two questions for you. First off, what command gave us this information? That's the first question. Second question, there's an important group number in here. It's an HSRP group number. What is it? Because that's a very important value when we're working with HSRP. So I'm going to go ahead and get, get into the answers here in about five seconds. So if you want to pause the video and think about it for a moment, that's fantastic. But if not, we are going to push on. And let's go ahead and take a look. First off, this command is show standby, an excellent troubleshooting command when you're starting to troubleshoot HSRP, the hot standby routing protocol. It is not, you know, anything like a show HSRP, anything like that. It simply shows standby. Now that group number I was mentioning, the reason, one reason that I scrolled down is that I didn't want you to see it right there, but there's another way to see the group number. It's a very important concept. And do you know where it is? Let's hit it because the hot standby IP address, notice it says configured. That's because I did have to enter it to get the standby, get the HSRP config going. But this is the default virtual MAC address of the virtual router in HSRP. So where did this come from? Well, this part of it, the first five out of six parts, as I like to say, that's all by default. That is always going to be the first part of an HSRP default MAC address. The rest of it is the group number, the last two values. Now you might look at that, especially if I hadn't shown you this part first and say, oh, okay, it's group 28. Well, why does it say 28 here if this is group 40? Because this is in hexadecimal. Ah, that's really easy to forget on exam day. You don't want to forget that on exam day, or ever really, but that's all it is. These last two characters are going to represent that group number in hex. So if we have two values, we know the first one is units of 16. We know this is units of 1, the 8 that is. So 2 times 16 would give us 32. 8 ones would give us 8. 32 plus 8 is 40. So just a quick, good, solid exam tip for you there. Something you do not want to forget on exam day. And also, speaking of hex, I'm going to have a free book out. It doesn't have to just be, you don't have to just be a CCNA student, a CCNA Bulldog to download this one. I'm going to have a free hex conversion book for you out there on Amazon and a lot of other ebook sites here coming up in May, along with all of our other materials in much friendlier formats, including Kindle and iPad and EPUB and something else I'm sure I'm forgetting, but we'll have that too. In all sincerity, thanks for watching today's video. I'm Chris Bryan, and thanks for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story.